Trying to enjoy my pizza here. Yeah, hey, Babby, how about some nuts, Babby? Would you like some nuts? Uh, Babby, you can't. Babby, you're taking a pizza, Babby. You can't do stuff like that, Babby. Come on. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. L, and welcome to the Monkey Doodle Show, where we teach you how to draw crazy, silly characters and cartoons every week. So if you're a kid and you like to draw like me, be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss a video. Also, look out for my friend Babby the Monkey, who's always causing trouble in the art studio. So watch until the end to see what he's up to this time. Since we all love pizza, I thought, hmm, today would be a great time to draw a fun character called Pizza the Kid. So grab your markers and get ready to draw with me a Monkey Doodle. Okay guys, we're back. So get ready to draw Pizza Kid. Or maybe we can call this guy Pizza the Kid. We'll see. All right, so have some markers ready. You can use whatever marker you want. My favorite is the Sharpie. Okay, so we're going to start Pizza Guy or Pizza the Kid on top over here with a circle or more like an oval, I'll say. I'm going to put a bigger oval over here because we want our characters to always look silly because that's what our show is about, creating silly characters and being a little silly and learning some art at the same time. So we have a small oval, bigger oval, and you see the small oval is kind of covering the bigger one here a little bit. So now we're going to go inside and we're going to make a short curve, a little V-type shape, and another curve that goes in. That's going to be the dark part of Pizza the Kid's Eye. And color it in real quick. Black is always good. So I see that cartoon eye over here, which is cool. I'm going to do a curve over here, come in with a V, and curve down. All right, and then color that in. And that also gives us the other eye. Pretty cool. You can see that now, right? We have two eyes for Pizza the Kid. Now, we're going to build some crust for Pizza the Kid. And we know that the pizza is going to be a triangle shape, so let's start with the crust. Come out with a line, and the bumpier the line, the better, because it's a piece of crust. We want it to be bumpy, right? All right. A little curve coming down on the side. Another one on this side. And remember, if I go too fast, you guys can always stop the video and pause. Slow it down. Let's come in over here. And kind of bumpy line. And meet up with the other line there. So that completes, completes our crust. And you can see the eyes are hanging out in there. All right. Now we're going to give pizza the kid a smile. So it's kind of interesting. We're going to start over here on the crust. I want to go down with a nice beautiful curve and go into the crust again. All right, so there it is, a nice curve. Now over here we're going to do another little curve, a little curve, and you can see Pizza the Kid's pretty happy. I want to give him two silly teeth. Wow, it's like an upside down M. See that? Makes it even sillier. And we're going to color the inside black, okay? The best that you can to fill it in. I'll try to do this as quickly as I can so you guys don't get too bored. And that creates some darkness inside Pizza the Kid's mouth. All right, cool. Are you guys with me? All right, you're probably getting hungry. I know I am because I love pizza. All right, so now we're going to make the body the main part of pizza. Pizza Kid, Pizza Guy. Watch, we're going to come down with a long curve, almost to the bottom. See that? And we're going to come up now. We're going to make some bumps as we come up. Because, you know, the pizza and the mozzarella cheese is kind of melting off on the side here, see? So that's good. All right. Now, everybody loves pepperoni, or maybe you have your own favorite topping, but pepperoni always looks good on pizza. And since it's a work of art, we're going to make some kind of like circular shapes that resemble pepperoni. See that? And we'll put a nice piece over here. Maybe a half piece here, almost like a semicircle. Another semicircle piece here. Here. And how about one down here? All right. That's not pepperoni. <laughs> we don't want to put too much pepperoni. And get the two more spicy. All right. So. Here we go, here we go. We have the main part of pizza, the kid's body. Now, hmm, let me think. Let me rub my beard for a second. Oh, I know, hold on. 
need some arms and legs. That would make it look really interesting. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put one curvy line that comes out like that. Let's put another curvy line that's right next to it like that. So they're right near each other, a little space in between. A little bump. And come in a little bit, and then a little bump like that. So it almost looks like a mitten. It's kind of like a fist, right? All right. Let's put one on this side of an arm. All right. I'm going to make this curve up instead. Up. And a little one going up right next to it. Okay. And we're going to make this like an open hand. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And a thumb sticking out, silly thumb. And you can see we only, we only need four fingers for pizza to kid. I don't know. Does a slice of pizza have four or five fingers? I think four fingers is good enough. We have two arms. Let's make legs. We're going to make this leg around here. It's going to be a big curve that goes up and then down. All right. We're going to make a little loop, loopy curve down here. Go in and back to the pizza body. Okay. Wait, one leg. Good. Pizza is almost mobile. Okay. We're going to make one curve down and then up. It's almost like a U shape, sort of. We want to go right next to it, up, and a little loop that connects to that line. So Pizza the Kid is on the run, as we can see, but he's happy on the run. All right, we're going to give Pizza the Kid a cool hat. Watch this. So we're going to come up from the crust, big loop, and right back down and hit the eye. So that's the top part of his baseball cap. We're going to start over here with a curve. And right there to the crust. So we got a big, huge upside down U and another upside down U here kind of touching each other. And then watch. Let's do a little slight curve in the middle. Slight curve going this way. One going that way. Little circle on top. See? See that baseball cap? Pretty cool, right? But we want to make Pizza Kid even more silly than what he is. So check it out. Little loop here. A little loop there. And it's kind of like he has a helicopter. <laughs> Spinner thing on the top of his hat, which is really cool. I love stuff like that. Being silly is the best, isn't it? Okay, so there's Pizza the Kid. He's pretty much done. And as always, you can always finish off your background and do some cool things. I don't know, maybe there's some shredded mozzarella cheese around. And you can do it like, like curves like this, you know. It's flying around Pizza the Kid because wherever Pizza the Kid goes, there is cheese. So there's Pizza the Kid with some shredded cheese flying around. It's always cool to do a pattern. And you guys know that a pattern is some kind of shape or thing that repeats itself. So there's a pattern of cheese, shredded cheese that's all over. And here's a pattern of mozzarella that's all over. I mean, not mozzarella. I'm sorry, pepperoni. So there it is. Pepperoni is repeated. So that makes that a pattern. All right. So this cheese guy is on a run. I'm going to sign it as always. Always be proud of your work and sign it. And if you need to, you know, stop the video to catch up with me. That's always a good thing, and you guys have the control over that. Baby, go swing off a tree. Come on. I'm trying to enjoy my pizza here. Hey, Baby, how about some nuts, Baby? Would you like some nuts? Uh, Baby, you can't. You can't Baby, you're taking a pizza, Baby. You can't do stuff like that, Baby. Come on. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Also, please be sure to check out last week's video, which is linked in the description down below. All right, guys, it's time for this week's shout outs. Thanks to everyone who sent in their art. If you want your art to be featured in next week's episode of Monkey Doodle, 
Just send your art to monkeydoodleart at gmail.com. And if you want to check out my art, you can follow me on Instagram at Art Duke of Liberty. See you next time on Monkey Doodle.